Welcome, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Have you ever heard that phrase, there is no atheist in the foxhole? Well, there was this one Christian man who was in this war and he was in the foxhole and all of a sudden his German enemy dropped down in the foxhole and he was pointing the rifle and the bayonet at the Christian man. And the Christian man raised his hands and he started crying out to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, save me. And the German man lowered his rifle very slowly. And he said, my mother believed in Jesus. Instead of killing that Christian man, the man went over there and bound up his wounds and saved his life. And that's what the power of the cross will do. The power of the work of Jesus, that's what he will do. He will work miracles in people's lives. Even that very name Jesus holds great power. And then there is this other story I read about. And there was a wonderful movie made about this story. And the main character is Louis Zamperini. And he was lost at sea for 47 days with several other men. I forget how many people were in that boat, but I think they were in a raft. And Zamperini was not a Christian, but he began crying out to God during this time. And the enemy would shoot bullets from the air. The planes flying over would shoot and the bullets never hit their mark. And he said they survived by eating whatever fish they could catch for 47 days and then they landed on Marshall Islands and then they were captured. But he said this one man called the bird, tortured him, and he would never go into the details of the absolute horrible torture, but later on in life when he was free, he was married, and he had these horrible, horrible nightmares because of his bad experiences, and he would wake his wife up, and he would be torturing her through his dreams because in his dreams he was fighting against the man who tortured him and so she was going to divorce him and then she went to a Billy Graham crusade and she received Christ as her savior and she kept talking to Zamperini about it until he finally decided that he would go to the crusade because he was so happy that she changed her mind about divorcing him when she became a Christian. So he went to the Billy Graham crusade and he gave his heart and life to the Lord. And then he quit having those horrible nightmares. And he says, if I had only known, I would have given my heart to Jesus a lot sooner than this if I had only known but I tell you what God will save us from a lot more than bad nightmares he will save us from an eternity in the pits of hell when we accept him so I ask you today to turn to Jesus ask him to be your savior and he will come into your heart and he will 
clean your life up and he will forgive you of your sins and you can start over with a clean slate say Jesus I give you my life come into my life now and I make you Lord of my life say I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross you shed your blood that I could have salvation and that you rose again on the third day and he will hear your cry he will hear your prayer and he will make your life glorious I just thank God that he is with me and that he takes away all the bad things and if something's bothering me I just go to him and I asked him to help me and he does he's always come through for me he's always come through for me one more time in the mighty name of Jesus amen <laughs>